Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and it's our daily card reading for August 19th, 2021. If you would like to do the Archangel Raphael 7-Day Meditation Challenge, which is all about soulmates, healing, heart activation, empathy, compassion, having your heart wisdom speak to you, that's the place you want to go. Or if you're not interested in paying for a challenge. I understand that. We're all in tough times right now. I do have a free Archangel Raphael meditation available at my channel, okay, or on my channel. So you can get over there and do that. Of course, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. I am doing Akashic Records readings now. Just make sure that you uh, make that note within your submission form. And those don't typically have cards. If you would like to have part of it be cards and part of it to be Akashic Records, We'll work on that. That's fine. Just make sure you make that clear within your submission form. Now, you guys might be sitting here going, Michelle, these are the longest dailies ever. I know. <laughs> Please. I thought I was going to sit down for a couple of hours and film, and these dailies are taking 20 minutes each. Um, but things come up as they come up. Uh, if I have any sense of purpose, it is to let insights hit and come out of my face. Okay? <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we're doing. Where are we August 19th. Any more from the day before? Um, I, th I think the idea here is, because I'm, I'm hearing a lot of self-care. So this might be that day where you take a break. This might be that day. So if you're watching this before work and you're really tempted to call in sick, if you've done it like 20 times, then maybe don't. Um, <laughs> I'm not here to tell you what to do. All decisions and choices are yours. But you might say, oh, I'm going to go to work and then I'm going to allow myself to go off and hike or I'm going to go off and do this or whatever, okay? But make sure that today is very much a day where you're taking breaks. Yeah, because I'm hearing if you don't take a break, you will break. We're coming up on a time where, I mean, it's leading to something. And it doesn't feel like it, but it is trying to get us to a space of freedom. I, I think it's very much trying to do that. I've got to watch my hair. I have like naturally curly hair. I just move and then a curl pops out and just hangs out there the whole time and I can't feel it. <laughs> it's a great time. Anyway, some of you are going to use this as a form of escape. So again, we're all in different places. We all, I mean, anybody, even if you're spiritually, I hate this, but advanced. <laughs> Okay, you, you are where you are, whatever. But, you know, even if you're like, no, I'm pretty good at coping with this stuff, you might even have a certain trigger or something that comes at you that's like, oh, I, I, I'm out. <laughs> I'm running off to the mountains. Everybody leave me alone. Uh, or something along those lines, okay? So just cope with it as best as you can. I'm going to use the Archangel Michael deck today. Um, just please try to protect the vulnerable people around you because there might be people who are short circuiting let's see what this is go forward fearlessly okay so this is interesting so like whatever is coming up especially today or whenever you're seeing this um you're watching out you've got a plan in place but then you're kind of retreating and taking care of you this is refueling you. This is giving you clarity so that you can go forward fearlessly. So it says, thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. So it really is going, okay, I need to kind of turn so that I know what direction I actually need to go in. Um, and it almost has this feeling of like, you've been going this way, going this way, going this way, and... I want, <laughs> I want to say it's like running on, you know, like, God forbid, a tire blows out and you're running on the rim, right? And you've been doing that for too long and the sparks are flying and just, like, it's time to pull over, okay? Time to pull over so you can fix whatever's going on and then you can be on your way. For a lot of us, it is a pained heart. It is a mind that is not fully tapped into. <sighs> is not giving ourselves enough credit where credit is due. This is, again, you see that message and then you've got someone out there who is narcissistic. I told you, we get the people here who are like, I just love hearing about myself and how great I am and how enlightened I am, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they'll go off the rails with that. But I'm talking to the healthy-minded people, okay? I'm talking to y'all who are sensitive. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. Uh, it's time to 
it's, it's time to retreat and kind of let yourselves regenerate. And then you can go in this different direction. So you're kind of going out and around the obstacle to keep going. And they're going to, like I said, there are a lot of thought forms that are affecting a lot of people because they've allowed themselves to be open to it. How do you do that? Well, you know, if like, listen, Halloween's coming up, for example. And I remember when I first started my channel, if I did anything kind of Halloweenish, like wear black nails or something, t for some people, that's just like a thing is what they do. For me, I don't typically do that, but I like it. I was, you know, in the uh, Halloween spirit or whatever. And people are like, that's evil. Oh my God, how can you be an angel medium and you're wearing black nails and you have a little rocker t-shirt on with a skull on it. Oh my God. You know, like what's the matter with you? Like I'm not, <laughs> there's a difference. Okay, there's a difference. And it really does come with intention, right? <laughs> Wow, that just like popped out of my head. Anyway, but if you're somebody who completely lives for the darkness and you're, you're probably not here, but you live for the darkness, you're, you're, you think that's your sense of power. I mean, okay, fine. But you're, you're not, you're in a low frequency. And maybe that's your path. Maybe that's what you have to do. Remember, we all have to kind of experience things for our soul's lessons. And that's all well and good. But if you're watching this because you feel like something's not fitting anymore you don't know why there's so much anger or hate and maybe it's being directed at you or maybe you know maybe you're finding yourself in situations where you don't know how to get out of it you feel like you kind of got in and now you don't know how to get back out or, or what have you look at you know again it doesn't I mean I'm not trying to attack anybody's lifestyle here okay you might be like Michelle, I am a rocker and I like that stuff that's not what I'm getting at here what I'm getting at here is uh the intention behind it and what kind of energy do you put behind that? So I've seen firsthand where people, um, it doesn't have to necessarily be like outwardly dark looking necessarily. Um, but, you know, maybe maybe they're kind of in a very 3D atmosphere. So they get very hung up in office politics or making it or being a success or winning that election or, you know, whatever, whatever they're getting into. And then they put this darkness, this low frequency behind it because they just need to win. And then I've seen people get into a dark place because they think that that's like I said before like that's their power because they can manipulate you feel me but if you're just always assuming that things are bad and you kind of do you kind of keep um a negative perspective so you can keep control of it because if I'm watching for a potential bad thing and I'm aware of it it can't get me now you're down a path where it can actually be self-fulfilling prophecy right that sort of thing so uh, try to find your peace today. Do what you can. Pull on back. Again, that's a big theme here. Find your peace. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.